Have you guys seen that recent clip of Pastor John Gray and his wife Aventer on The Real? If you haven't, I want you to go ahead and check this clip out. Did you have an affair? And if so, when did it start? The answer is no, uh, I didn't. Uh, but over a year ago, <laughs> <laughs> my wife and I were in a very difficult place in our marriage. And in that time, uh, I began to converse with someone other than a counselor, other than a pastoral leader. And I was even in the presence of that person one time. But being in the presence of someone is not the same as sleeping with them. I did not sleep with anyone. I, there's no baby. There's none of that. And so it's important for me to take responsibility for the areas where I did come up short. Okay. Sharing things about my marriage outside of my wife and outside of trusted counselors is an emotional affair. It was wrong. I take responsibility for that. But I will not take responsibility for that which I did not do. I get up in that pulpit. I come not as a perfect man, but as a broken man. We've walked through this. We have peace, but people don't. The genesis of this was over a year ago, mm -hmm. but we talked about this. So we're moving forward. We're believing God. So after that clip aired, um, and Pastor John Gray basically said he had an emotional affair with this mistress and he didn't have any kind of physical affair. Um, I think the mistress had something to say and something was released. Check this out. Yo, are you like ignoring me now? I'm just trying to make sure. Let me get this straight. I'm being ignored by someone who I had fought to so feed into, get resources to. I'm in your city and I can't get a call back. I just wanted to make sure I got my facts straight. Got it. When you get this message deleted, my wife saw our text messages from Friday. She knows you were in the same hotel as me, and she does not know. So if you guys aren't familiar with Pastor John Gray, he started out at Lakewood Church with uh, Pastor Joel Osteen. I used to watch both of them regularly. And then after that whole Houston flooding thing, I really haven't watched Joel Osteen since then. Um, and uh, I was trying to get into John Gray on the OWN Network when he first came out. I thought, oh, look at this little big old cuddly teddy bear. And he just seemed kind of genuine at the time. And then, of course... You know, as always with the internets, the tea was spilled on John Gray and it was revealed that he was having some kind of affair on his wife. Now, the reason why a lot of his tea came out and it was spilled is because a lot of people were up in arms when he gifted his wife, a venter, a, uh, a Lambo truck for her birthday or something like that. And people were up in arms and saying, you know, where did you get this money? Are you using the church's money? What are you doing? Why are you doing it? And then there was, of course, those few people that uh, was wondering if this was some kind of guilt gift, you know, the kind of gifts that you give to your significant other, your wife, when you've been out here laying a pipe with somebody else. <laughs> cough, 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 T.I. Right. So um, a lot of people taking exception to that started to, you know, really kind of dig into, uh, pastor John Gray and a lot of his tea was spilled. Okay. A lot of his tea was spilled and it was put out there that he was having an affair on his wife. And it was put out there that he had like another baby on the woman. Now, um, the reason why I even came to know about this whole thing and, and, with Pastor John Gray is with Derek Jackson. Now, Derek Jackson is just like some kind of like relationship guru. And they were having a back and forth with John Gray. Uh, Derek Jackson was having a, a back and forth with John Gray and his wife, you know, and it was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because of course, John Gray basically wanted to say that the devil made him cheat. You know, it wasn't him. He was a boy growing up to be a man. And his wife was giving birth to him. She was putting her coat on some, some BS that John Gray was talking about. 
But I don't know about you, but watching her on the reel made me cringe. It just made me cringe to watch her clapping like a trained seal when he said he didn't have an affair and he didn't have a baby. He did admit to having an emotional affair with this other woman. Now, clearly, based on those voice recordings, it was far more than a uh, emotional affair. You ain't sitting here leaving no messages to some woman just so you can talk and tell her, tell you, tell her your deepest, darkest secrets or what you did at work today. That was more than that. That man was clearly having a physical affair with that woman as well as an emotional affair. And he was in town and he wanted some booty. That's what I got out of that. And you can see when the part of the voice recording, uh, him saying that his wife found out about her. So if you having some, you just talking on the phone with some woman, you know, and your wife, I mean, that it, he just, he just sounded like he was full of BS and the mistress called him out on it. Cause you know, she's the one that probably, I'm sure she's the one that leaked the voice recordings because he out here saying that he had an emotional affair. Personally, me personally, an emotional affair is far more dangerous than any physical affair because a man can pump and dump every day of the week with a different woman and not get attached at all. But the minute he start investing time and talking to a woman every day and, and, and telling her his deepest, darkest secrets and, and sharing his emotions with her and you know, that's emotional and that's dangerous and that's close. And he was clearly close to another woman. He was doing an emotional and a physical affair with this other woman. He just was. And for him to get on the real and, you know, have his wife out here looking stupid because she did look stupid. I'm sorry. She looked stupid out there clapping and, and, and clapping for all that. It, but, but, but I will say this. I don't judge women for staying. I don't because I was one of those. I stayed far longer than I should have. And my husband was out here doing a little bit of everything, gambling, cheating, all the other stuff. And I left when I real, you know, I realized I had to leave and I left and I never looked back. So I don't judge a woman for trying to make her marriage work. I don't, I really don't. And, and that's not what this is about. I do feel cringy for her for sitting up there clapping in public about the fact that he's admitted that he didn't have another baby and all this other stuff. But at the same time, you know, that's, that's, it. that's her husband. And if she wants to stay by all means, you know, go for it. I just feel a certain type of way of him being on TV on the own network and trying to give out advice to other people and telling them how to live right. When he himself has some things that he probably should work on. All right. Now, pastors are human. And maybe that's the problem is that a lot of people put too much um, into a pastor thinking that they are above God and they make human mistakes. But I probably wouldn't want somebody like Pastor John Gray to lead me simply because he can't even be truthful with himself. He sat there on TV and lied and claimed that it was just an emotional affair. And when those voice recordings leaked, it's clear that it was a lot more than that. It's clear to me that that wasn't no jail, damn emotional affair. That was emotional and booty at the same time. And he had his wife on TV clapping like a seal uh, for that mess. And I'm just wondering, what do you guys think about Pastor John Gray? I don't know. Like I said, that just bothered my spirit. That bothered my soul. I'm tired of men that's cheating, talking about the devil made him do it. Well, not too many men even use that one, but I guess a pastor can use that, you know, I just wish that John Gray would just own up to what he's done and take some time to kind of heal his wife, heal him and his wife instead of getting out here lying because it was clearly a lie. And you know the internet and you know social media. If you out here lying, they're going to find it. All right. So that's all I want to say. That was on my mind.